Hey guys, this is Danks87. Another request here for you YouTubers. This is the magnetic power up. So as you can see, not everything here is metal. I have the magnetic power up and only metal things will be attracted. Apart from the st bits that get stuck in between. And now I can hold these metal bits and go anywhere I want with them. Okay, so what you're going to need is one tag, one tag sensor, one follower, one timer, and a broadcast microchip. Okay, so first up we're going to make the power up itself. So I'm going to use a generic handle just so for this video. Then we're going to create a piece of sticker panel material. I want this to be fairly generic sized. And we want this attaching to the front of our power up. About here in the middle is good. We want to make that completely invisible and then we want to stick it to the weapon itself. Moving on to the logic now, we're going to get our blaster handle. We're going to place it on the handle of the power up. Then we're going to get a tag and we're going to place that somewhere near the end of the sticker panel. We're going to name this blue and mag. Then we are going to simply get our trigger and place it into the input of the tag. So only when the trigger is pulled will the tag activate. So save that as a weapon and that's us done there. Next up we grab another piece of sticker panel material we're going to make that completely invisible and then we're going to stick on our broadcast microchip we're going to edit the settings so we want it to be broadcast to a tag we want it blue and metal then we want all in range with an infinite range on all the layers now we're going to add our logic inside so we want a follower we want this follower to follow not too quickly. We want some in out movement and 100% acceleration. Whatever distance you want your gun to work at. And then we want to make it strength scale on its input action. Then we need to change it to follow a tag. And it needs to follow blue and mag. Now moving on we're going to use a timer. And this is how long it takes. Well. It gives it a strength scale, so it slowly comes towards you and then it reaches its full potential. So we want it to be a count up timer of around one second and attach that into the input of the follower. Then you want a tag sensor. This needs to sense the blue mag tag at around the same distance that your follower can move at. So blue mag and it's at 50, exactly the same as the follower. And we attach that to the timer. Then we are going to add in a NOT gate and we want the NOT gate's output to go into the reset on the timer and then we want the tag sensor output into the input on the NOT gate. That is it done. Now any metal object or anything you want to be magnetic you attach a blue tag with the name metal on it. That will give it all the broadcast microchips logic. So it doesn't have to just be metal, it can be absolutely anything you want. And that's it done. Now you have your own magnetic gun. So I'm just going to have this change it to the new one and then show you that it works. Well, thanks for watching guys. Keep tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.